फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू माय चैनल बायोलॉजी विद आलम सिंह टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस ऑन अ टॉपिक द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन हाउ द स्ट्रक्चर ऑफ प्रोटीन्स आर लेट्स मेक इट इंटरेस्टिंग टू लर्न मोर एंड मोर व्हाट इज स्ट्रक्चर व्हाट इज प्रोटीन फर्स्टली वी जस्ट हैव टू नो अबाउट व्हाट इज प्रोटीन प्रोटीन इज द इन सिंपल लैंग्वेज इज द चेन ऑफ अमीनो एसिड्स व्हिच आर कनेक्टेड विद द पेप्टाइड बॉन्ड्स टू फॉर्म अ protein in protein the protein forms by the polypeptide chain of amino acids polypeptide means that uh, break the polypeptide chain poly means many peptide means peptide bonds and chain means the chain of amino acids this is the chain of amino acids protein is simply the chain of amino acids so now the structure of protein firstly we have to know that uh, how much type of structure of proteins are present in the nature so there are four types of protein protein structures which are found in nature that first is uh, primary structure primary structural protein second is uh, secondary structural protein third one is uh, the tertiary structural protein and fourth one is quaternary structural protein so the first one is primary second is secondary third one is the tertiary we are just going to divide them how much uh, uh, on the basis of their structures and the uh, fourth one is quaternary the first one is that uh, um, before knowing the first part we just have to know that what is an amino acid what is the formula of an amino acid the amino acid is a molecule which contains an amine group a carboxyl group and a r group these three things are most necessary for a amino acid so the structure of a amino acid for a basic that is uh, this is the structural formula of an amino acid what is it so these all of the four structures are the constituent of this amino acid this amino acids in different forms in different uh, um, formation forms different type of protein structures so we are now talking about the primary structure the what is the primary structure is primary structure is the linear chain of amino acids means that uh, no 2d 3d folding there is just a linear chain means that uh, uh, there is an n terminal and uh, and a c terminal these all are the protein chains which are uh, protein chain of amino acids the circles represent means that each circle is an amino acid in the last uh, there is an n terminal which is uh, nitrogen terminal and uh, uh, c terminal there is n and a c terminal in the primary chain uh, all these dot represent the amino acids between it this is a linear and simple chain which is uh, it forms in the primary structure the secondary structure is that in secondary structure alpha and beta forms are found alpha is known as alpha helix and beta is in the form of beta sheet so we are going to learn about these structure in detail uh, uh, we are we will draw the structure of alpha and beta in front of you so before uh, drawing the structure we just uh, have to study the tertiary structure what is it the tertiary structure is a mixture of alpha plus beta chain and beta chain of the amino acids means that uh, the secondary protein both of the secondary proteins alpha and beta forms by adding the by adding and forms a tertiary structure means that alpha beta equals to tertiary structure okay and
and now the tertiary structure one or two times one or two or more than two forms the quaternary structure the tertiary one or two or more makes the quaternary structure which is most and most complicated so now first talk about the alpha and beta structures what are they these all are the part of the secondary structure alpha and beta so beta structure is just like that you have also to understand that how we made the structure so that it is helpful in examinations to easier than that is how to draw a structure firstly make a carbon carbon and nitrogen means that two carbon are there and one nitrogen and then then carbon and then carbon then nitrogen and then carbon and then carbon so this is the what we have made and uh, this is in the form of a sheet we are just making the beta sheet here beta sheet form so in beta sheet there is carbon nitrogen carbon carbon means that there is also is carbon also there but uh, for the joining we just uh, uh, the carbon contains the o group and nitrogen contains the hydrogen group so both of them are bonded with the hydrogen bond we will make this from the different color marker pen so this is uh, we making with the red means that it is the hydrogen bonded and uh, hydrogen bonding between oxygen and hydrogen the oxygen is connected with the carbon and the, the hydrogen connected with the nitrogen so the chain continues as it as it is uh before after leaving one two or three we just have to connect another pair that is hydrogen and there is also um one two and three one two and three we just have to left and the fourth one is the carbon that uh, we just have to group uh, join the o group and uh, join the hydrogen bond and after that we just have to left out the one because there is this structure is just like that i am showing that how to make it so leave a one leave a one after that and n is bonded by the difference so i am making with a different marker pen that is nitrogen with hydrogen nitrogen with the, the hydrogen and the, the ox the oxygen with the carbon so they, the, these are bonded with the hydrogen bond i am making it different because uh, um, in there we just have left three or three particles three or atoms and in this we just have left one for that uh, we just uh, have to make a beta sheet a sheet shape structure so these all uh, occurs due to the arrangement of amino acids in uh, different structures uh, in this uh, secondary structure what uh, basically happens is that there is an arrangement in two shapes the beta and the alpha so this chain continues at the end and the beta sheet will be formed i am making i am given the diagram in the description and also on the screen you can see that uh, how it is now talking about the alpha helix how is it and how to make it the alpha helix is a structure which is is just like a helix i had remained it wrong so let's make it so starting at the point we just have to end it here and start with the here and then end then re enter this is what the basic structure what is the internal structure let's know carbon there is also same carbon carbon nitrogen carbon carbon nitrogen carbon carbon nitrogen this is the basic sequence in this what happens is the second carbon is attached with the nitrogen of the bottom 
is that uh, um, there is also a chain carbon, carbon, nitrogen, carbon, carbon, nitrogen. So this uh, nitrogen contains a hydrogen bond. So this uh, oxygen is connected with this hydrogen bond. And also these connections, just like uh, in this, this is the second carbon. So this is uh, also oxygen containing. So this is connected with the other one which is uh, H here, which is connected to this. This makes the uh, alpha structure. I am giving this in the screen also. So this is the rubbish type right, sketch. I am just showing, I am not making the perfect sketch. I am just showing that how to make it. There is a carbon, carbon, nitrogen and uh, carbon oxygen is connected with the nitrogen hydrogen with the hydrogen bond so this is what about the um, alpha and beta structures and uh, now we are going to talk about the tertiary structure how the tertiary structures are um, let's talk about it the tertiary structure is the mixture of uh, the alpha helix and the beta sheet means that if a beta sheet is there then it is straight, straight. and if there is a curve curve means that uh, uh, this is a curve so this is the uh, what alpha helix and the straight line represent the beta sheet so this is structure where, wherever it is uh, straight it is beta sheet and in the molded ends it is alpha helix alpha helix from the molded side and beta sheet from the um, uh, from the straight part so uh, this uh, complex structure is just like that it's uh, you can't find out where it is whether it is but uh, the structure is just like is a mixture of alpha helix and beta sheet. Both of the secondary structures make the tertiary structure in combination form. Now come forward to the quaternary structure. Quaternary structure is more and more complicated than the tertiary structure, which is actually not required by the formulas. But uh, now studies tell that uh, it is required. But if a protein contains the primary, secondary, and the tertiary structures, then it is a protein. We can uh, say that it is a protein if it contains primary, secondary, and tertiary structures. Quaternary is not necessary, not so much necessary for that. So, quaternary structure is basically more and more complex than the tertiary structure. So, the tertiary structure, the alpha and beta helix, which is uh, the constituent of the tertiary structure. A tertiary structure in two or three chains. The two or three chains of the tertiary structures makes the uh, quaternary structure. Means that it is uh, more and more complicated, more and more densely complicated. It, uh, you can't uh, see it properly. This is more and more and more complicated. You can see the diagram in the screen also. It's a uh, uh, complicated structure. So, so this is all about the structure of proteins. There are, for summarize, uh, there are four type of protein structure: primary, secondary, tertiary, and quaternary. Primary makes the secondary, and the secondary makes the tertiary, and the tertiary makes the quaternary. Both of the, them are they are the, in the increasing order uh, from their complexity. Primary is more or less complex. Secondary is Again, more complex than primary and tertiary is more complex than secondary and tertiary is more complex than quaternary. So this is all about the structures of protein. If, there are, if you like the video, then give us a thumbs up. If you have any doubt about the topic, then ask in the comment box. This is all about the structures of protein. If, there are, if you like the video, then give us a thumbs up. If if you have any doubt about the topic then ask in the comment box. I will definitely reply it. And one more important thing I am telling to you that uh, if you have any query, any to a topic which is problematic to you, ask me in the comment box and write the name of the topic in the comment box. I will definitely make a video or lecture on it. 
which uh, will able to help you to solve the problem and the notes of this topics are uh, in the description box check it out in the description box you will be helpful from this topic thank you so much for watching like and subscribe the channel for the more and uh, interesting